a lot of people don't know this, but the first non-indigenous settler of Chicago was a Haitian Frenchman. It was his union and marriage to Kitihawa, who was a Potawatomi, uh, that he was allowed to actually trade on the behest of the tribe. And he was able to set up roots, and he set up a trading post from that uh, Chicago group. The founders is actually, uh, as much as it is an incredible sculpture, it's also an exhibition. So the idea was to be able to show up in a site, inflate the inflatable, and draw attention to what's already there. So for this piece, we actually partnered with two artists, Monica Ricard Bolter and Chris Poppins. We also collaborated with the Usabo Museum and the Field Museum. On the institutional side of the Usabo Museum, we actually scanned two of their pieces from the collection. Uh, the Field Museum's kind of um, contribution is actually the pattern work. And the pattern work is actually Potawatomi inspired and from inspired by the textile collection of Potawatomi peoples in the Field Museum collection. There are no images of Kitahawa. Kitahawa is the wife of Jean-Paul Baptiste Dussabo. The head of Dussabo, once again, there's no real images of what this man looked like. So we actually asked one of our longtime, one of the longtime advocates to get the park built, who was a Haitian man, man named Esther Tanta, to actually sit and model for us. So as much as it is a, to honor Jean-Paul Baptiste Dussabo and Kitahawa, it's also honoring uh, two individuals who have been advocating uh, for the histories of indigenous people as well as the 